So this will be the first episode of many. I call it Deck Evolution Episode 1. Where we're going to focus on one deck into our regional in NYC November 10th in Brooklyn. We're going to, you know, play test our deck, my deck, and see, you know, try out test cards here and there and combos and showcase combos we can do with our Stardust or so or whatever we're going to call this deck. I think I'm going to call it um, Cyber Dragon Assault. It will be in the title. So, And we went to Comic Con Thursday. I mean Friday. And Wifey got me this beautiful Brawly playmat. I think it was dope. And she also got herself a playmat I'm going to showcase soon. And it's the exclusive... Comic Con Yu Gi Oh! Playmat. So it's exclusive, so hopefully, there's not millions out there. Won't be exclusive if, if they have too many. But this shit is dope. She saw it and said, I love it. I love the artwork. I want it. And she got it for herself. I'm going to use it for the extra link zones. But we'll be showcasing. Our combo. It's a three card combo. Or two card combo depending on what you draw. But I'm going to show you optimum play. And I did manage to trade for a ghost rare Stardust. It won't be a Stardust deck without a ghost rare. Right? Hopefully I'll get this signed by the actor. But this, this isn't a profile video. It's just a combo I want to try out. And I do want your opinion on things. And where I can um do better. I've been hitting up a lot of region, um, locals. Um, so I could get max experience using my deck against multiple decks. So on the road to regionals, we know what to do. So this card, this combo showcases Iron Dragon Tamation, Tiamation, whatever. It's a nice quick play. I got it from the 10 and I was looking at it from the 10. I didn't know about it. And, well, it's not a bad card. It's a hand trap. You can activate it on either person's turn. And it locks down the whole zone, so... Let's just get right into this. Uh, so for the three card combo, you'll basically need fire formation, emergency teleport, or one for one, or side reflector by itself, um, and your iron dragon. Iron dragon. So we want to occupy one to special summon. You have to have three cards in the same column. So we're going to utilize locking down one so that um, Iron Dragon locks down the other one. Whether it's on their turn, you can just interrupt their plays. And if their deck is combo heavy and they need to special summon to the extra monster zone, then you just lock in them out and they can't do nothing. But there's going to be a point I need your advice. Um, yeah, so this is our road. So we'll start off with Fire Formation, Tanky. And we're going to search out Assault Beast. It's going to be in that order. Then we're going to use Assault Beast's effect. Send it to Grave. Search out Assault Mode. Activate. At this point, we will special summon Tire Reflector using Emergency Teleport to the middle zone. Because when we special summon the monster back from the Grave, Assault Beast, we want to occupy this whole zone. So upon side reflective summoning, um, special summoning, we'll search out Assault Sentinel. This gives you so many plays, and I'll show you your options if you want. Then we're gonna use Assault Sen um, side reflective's other effect by revealing Assault Mode activate, bring back Assault Beast, increases level to seven because there's specific things I want to do. You can do whatever you want, but from this point you're gonna link away. Since you're not locked into synchroing. Into Link Rebo. Now you have three cards in the same column. So they've been rage quitting on me online. Because I'll set this up. I'll pass turn. Then they attempt to special summon in the zone over here. Or I'll let them depending on what they're playing. And then quick effect. You can special summon this card since you have three cards in the same column.
then his effect would trigger since he special summoned this way to pop everything and they cannot use neither player can use zones um iron dragon is um in so they can't use the they can't set any cards in the zone or it does count with their um special monster zone it locks it out and they can't special summon so you already occupy one you're occupying the other one because of iron dragon's effect they're locked out and then they're either rage quitting or they don't know how to play around it so they just quit either way or surrender but I'm gonna go further into whatever you would like to do you didn't use up your normal summon that's a special summon special off a of side reflector side reflector was special off for um, emergency teleport and the reason I want to utilize his secondary effect or his first you can still use it it's just you won't get um, side reflectors um, abilities because you already use it and it's once per turn so at this point you can normal summon now you have three monsters and you can do whatever at this point, but I like to keep it in the lock. So first I'm going to do the lock, continue with a lock combo. You use his effect to um, target a soap um, beast. You reveal a synchro, it becomes that attribute and type, but you're going for the attribute. So you're going to make him a dark type. At which point, now you have Link Rebo, which is dark. And he is now dark because of uh, Salt Sentinel. And then I want to link him away. If there's any better Link 2s, let me know. That it, that they will just point to your zone. And they will have an effect that won't let them get popped. That's the only thing. So with the cards I have, I bring out Wee Witch's Apprentice. It's a 19 hitter. Not only that, it occupies the zone still. While he occupies the other zone, they can't special summon from their extra deck at all now you have to worry about things like um what is it super poly and stuff like that but the ones i be catching like they're unaware of this because i don't know if anybody utilizes him but at this point he's 19 points down so they can't special summon like the with the upper arrow and you can use him next turn if they don't got nothing and also he's 25 because he's regularly 2000 but he's a dark attribute, so We Witch's Apprentice powers him up to 25, which I think is cool. Because now they have to either get over a 25 hitter or him. And if this gets popped, you could bring back Psy Reflector from Grave, since Psy Reflector is a dark type, to your hand for next turn combos. But um, I think it's cool because now you can play Eradicator, the trap card. Where you tribute a dark monster over 2500 and say spell or traps. Then if you have that, if you happen to have that, you can just set it, activate. If they don't do nothing and they're trying to activate spells, just flip it, tribute, and go from there. And if this was special summon on your turn, if you have a second one, you can tribute this one for um, Eradicator. And then do a second one, special summon a second one. Since it's still your turn, and if you use them first turn and it's their turn, if you tribute it off, you can use another one because it's once per turn. You can use his effect, otherwise, he'll be broken. But let's rewind a little bit. So, I want help with if there's any other link, um, link twos. But we're gonna rewind a little so I can show you any options that you want. That was there, that was there, these are engraved. From this point, this is still a 7, so you can utilize his effect, like I said, and you can tribute to special summon Psy Reflector, but he gets none of his effects because you already used it. And at this point, that's still a 7, that's a 1, you can synchro for Stardust Dragon. And then, of course, you have a salt mode, so you can just set it and turn on their turn, play, bring out a salt. Uh, it's a salt form wherever you want, doesn't matter. And you're still locking out the field, 
locking out the other zone and then you can use him to tribute to negate something that might be a problematic to this like if they play dark hole regeki um yeah that's the, the op play for this deck but you can do other things since if you want to go the synchro route like i said you're going to use him he's a one seven you could bring out any of your eights any any of your eights that you want to run in the deck um, or you can go into some link plays if you want because you have one two or if you if you, it's go if you go back at this point if you use his effect you're locked into synchros but at this point you could go into link plays like you go you could go into bls and get his full effect because he's a seven, one monster, and Link Rebo is a, a different monster. So, if you go this route, he'll be powered up. I mean, he'll be 3,000 with his full effect of protection and can be targeted and stuff like that. But, he has a zone pointing up, so they can now special summon from there. And you can just go into him, any threes you have, or twos, or anything like that. But like I said, I like locking them out. So let me see what you um what you think about this. And if you have, I would like great I would greatly appreciate any other link twos that will be way stronger in attack or in effect that they can't be destroyed by battle or something. Or whatever the case is. Just give me some suggestions to better put a, a link monster up here that would do fine by itself while also just your other dragons keen and, and protected. And this will be just one corner. What do you think? Um, do you like? Do you not like? Um, like I like I said, this is feedback I would love on my road to regionals with Stardust Dragon. That's our goal. Have a great day or night.